I'm Allie. Welcome to my kitchen. Don't get me confused with a hee-haw. <laughs> and today I'm making a little dessert slash brunch. <laughs> Skin plus. Something for us to nibble on. Yeah, it's, it's a coffee cake is what I'm making. it. Now, the name of this says cinnamon toast coffee cake. Y'all, this is more like a cinnamon raisin coffee cake because you got raisins. So I'm calling it a cinnamon raisin coffee cake, even though it says cinnamon toast. What is it, like half a cup of raisins? Yeah, it's got a half a cup of raisins in it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go over my ingredients right here, what I have, and we'll put it together. I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I have one and a half cup of sugar, it's white granulated sugar. And I'm sure you can use the cane sugar or whatever sugar you want to use. I have two teaspoons of baking soda. No, excuse me. Two teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, powder. There is a difference. So it's two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I have one stick, which is a half a cup plus two ta uh, tablespoons of butter melted, one cup of milk, half a cup of raisins, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, that's my ingredients. Nailer. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and it calls for a 15 by 10 by one inch baking dish. I have a 13 and a half by nine and a half by two inch baking dish because this is the largest one that will fit in my oven. Okay, I do have the 15 inch one, but this is the largest that will fit in my oven. Okay, it says to spray the pan or baking dish, which I have done. And now we mix our dry ingredients together, sifting them together. So we have, get all my flour out of here. Which translates to the pig is, dirty dishes are coming. Yep, there's one. We've already done a few. There's two. There's three and four. And the cinnamon. So let's put all of our dried ingredients together and sift them. Cinnamon. Yeah, I love the smell of cinnamon. That, that's just probably one of my all time favorite smells. Between cinnamon and vanilla. Love them both. Make the house smell good. You can take you some orange peel and a cinnamon stick and some uh, cranberry, fresh cranberries or, or frozen cranberries. Put them in a small crock pot and put them on low and let them simmer all day with some water. Make your house smell good. Right. Okay, there's all the dry ingredients sifted together. Okay, now it says in a large bowl, sift all that together. Uh, hold on. Take it out and stop. Yeah. Mix well. Let's see what it says. Two tablespoons blended milk. Two tablespoons of the butter. So I need a two. I need a two tablespoon measure, piggy, or uh, one tablespoon measure, I should say. One tablespoon. Yeah. It didn't tell me it was divided, y'all, until I got to reading it. Okay, so it says blend in milk, two tablespoons of butter, vanilla, and raisins. Mix well. And, uh, y'all, I made a mistake on here. Oh, well. We're just going to do it my way, aren't we? Is there any other way? No. So remember that, folks, in your kitchen. My way or the highway? Yeah. It says it's supposed to reserve. I, I didn't read the directions very well. Y'all have a hard time reading my own handwriting. But to do this the correct way, it says in a large bowl, sift together the flour, one cup of sugar, which is going to leave you a half a cup of sugar, uh, the baking powder and salt. Then you blend in the milk, two tablespoons of butter, vanilla and raisins, mix well. It says, uh, turn mixture into pan, bake 20 to 25 minutes, drizzle with remaining butter. This is in a small bowl, 
combine remaining sugar and cinnamon, sprinkle over cake, bake for 10 more minutes. So you know what? I'll just get me some more cinnamon and some more sugar, and I'll do that part of it, but everything's in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. You'll know next time. I will know the next time. But I'm like this. I mean, it's a cinnamon That's coffee cake. That's what mistakes are for, so you learn. Yeah, a cinnamon coffee cake. It's, you know, you put cinnamon in it. And I thought I had read the directions right, but you know what? That just means you need to double check yourself. You already get this, or? I'll get it in a minute, because I got to. All right. And I'll give you the butter. Spoon. A little butter. Spoon. Butter spoon. Butter spoon. But now I'm going to mix all this together. And y'all, you'll see me holding this whisk weird. I don't like this whisk. My good whisk broke. And Peggy's not going to be able to fix it. Right. So I got to find me a good, a new good whisk that I really like. So, I just have to deal with it until. With it. Yeah, I'm, I'm weird about the different utensils, but that one whisk I'd had for like 20 something years, maybe right at 20 years maybe. And it was a gift from a lady that is long gone now. But I'm not complaining. I got a good 20 years use out of that thing. Okay. We're just going to make this taste a little bit better, y'all. That's all I can say. I took some JB weld and put down in that hole and put that wire thing back down there in it and held it for a good long while, 24 hours, it even worked. though it said it would set in six minutes. <clears throat> it didn't hold. Yeah. Okay, now let's just turn this out into the baking dish. And this is going to be a relatively thin coffee cake. Be all right. It can be thin. It can be thick. But it's still going to be good. I like this, but I mean, we're always doing something. I told you it's going to be a cinnamon coffee cake. Uh, what if that was? A... Uh, yeah, cinnamon a cinnamon raisin, raisin instead of a, to a cinnamon toast. So, I'm just using that recipe and modifying it to my own needs, I guess. That's what you always do. I do. And when you make a mistake, you just work with it and keep on going. That's it. It's same in any job you do. And woodworking, you'd be amazed how many mistakes are in a piece. You wouldn't know it was there. The woodworker will. Yeah. He made them. But he also knows how to shove them up yeah. and make it and hide that mistake. The artist, the woodworker, the cook, they're always going to see the flaws, whether anybody else does or not. They're always going to see the flaws. Some of y'all have seen that high boy that I've stored. A lot of you have talked about how good it looks. Both with the cake. They are flaws galore in that thing. <laughs> Alright, we've got it mixed together. We're going to put this in the oven, like I said, for, uh, I think it said 20 to 25 minutes. We'll put it on about 20. See how it looks. And then we'll come back and do the part that I almost messed up on. All right, got that. Uh, okay, we got 20 minutes and a half, so 20, that, that, that'll work. And uh, we will come back when this timer goes off and that is done. And I'll put the cinnamon and sugar mixture on top and pour the butter over it and all that good jazz. So we'll see you in about uh, 25 minutes. All right. Okay, the coffee cake came out of the oven, and it says to drizzle it with the remaining butter, so that's what I'm fixing to do. Drizzle, drizzle. Make sure all that butter's on top of that. Folks, I'm going to tell you uh, what. 
she heard that thing go off. She said, it's time. I come walking through that kitchen door and that cinnamon smell hit me and it's like, oh man. All right, now it says in a small bowl to mix together the cinnamon and the half cup of sugar. So I measured out another teaspoon and a half of cinnamon and I've got a half cup of sugar here. And as we know, I've loved up, of course, but you know what? That's fine. It's all good. You're going to have some extra cinnamon on there. It can't be bad. It This will be fine. I mean, this goes to show if you make a mistake, you can correct it. Or even improve on what it was you were doing. That's it. Okay, now let's see what it says here. Now, I've got this mixed together. Um, just drizzle with remaining butter. It says, in a small bowl, combine remaining sugar and cinnamon. Sprinkle over cake. Bake for 10 minutes. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sprinkle it over the oh, cake. Oh, man. You mean you got to bake some more? Got to bake some more. Oh, man. Here I was looking forward to being able to get a taste. Well, you'll get a taste in about 10, 15 minutes once it cools just a touch. And... Folks, she'll probably make it set for a good long while because she's got some hamburger meat she's going to make us some burgers with. And we'll probably eat, and then she'll pull it out later when it's good and cool. No, I'm going to eat this and try a bite of this once it comes out of the oven. A little bit about 5 10 minutes after it comes out of the oven. Yep. And I'm just sprinkling this on there, making sure everything's well coated. They can see. Yeah. They can see, they can see, they can see and see. All right. Now we're going to put it back in the oven for another additional 10 minutes now. Get this right here around so I can hold this. Like that. And we'll bring the timer down to 10 minutes. All right, we're at 10 minutes, and when that timer goes off, I'll take that out, let it sit for about five minutes or so, just let it cool enough, and uh, we'll see when we get back. Okay, it's out of the oven. It looks good. It smells good. Uh -huh. It's been sitting here for a little bit cooling off, so I'm going to just go cut a small piece for each of us, because we don't need a whole lot right now. Oh. Piggy can have coffee in the morning. We can cut a small square. It's going to be one of those Piggy ain't going to wait on her once he gets his. <laughs> well, Piggy ain't in that deep day either, so that's probably why. Oh, uh, no. I don't feel hungry. That is not the uh, reason for saying that. It smells good. It smells awesome. All right, I'm just putting a small paste there. Right there. And there we go. All right. Got it? I got it. Whole thing right there. Keep All right. Up. There you go. I'll take me a fork. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to open the door real quick just a little bit. Come off your coming, Kelly. Well, we'll do this. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's good stuff, y'all. That's really good stuff. Come on. There she is. I don't care if you are. You don't like that. Something wrong with you. I think it turned out really good putting the cinnamon in the coffee cake as well as on top of it. Yeah. Mm. When that gets cool and a bit harder, it go great with coffee. Yeah. I think I know the reason I call it cinnamon toast coffee cake. It's supposed to be reminiscent of cinnamon toast. The piggy and I like cinnamon toast. And I guarantee you that doesn't taste a lot like it. So, very good stuff. Very close. Well, yeah, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. So, uh, and we thank y'all very much for your support. Everybody have a great day. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where about more?